in every aspect possible. <laughs> Except top tier. That is the common theme here. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. that's about I'll give you that one. Hell yeah. But he's in default inkling. That's pretty cool. I don't see a lot of these defaults. Yeah. Here we go, on to game one. Right. Boyo Kevin H. Ooh. Okay, so let's start off with Town of City. Uh, don't know how I feel about the stage. Just did it like a starter. I like it to start personally. So I wouldn't mind if it was a like carry though, but yeah. But I feel like Circa would have wanted to get a start off with a smaller stage. Just to keep on top of Luigi, because he is the grab is a really deadly tool, but you don't really want to give him room to breathe. And Inkling is really good at stage control because they're roller, oh. they have ink bomb, and then their dash is just really good at maneuvering around the place. So I feel like if they start on a small stage, it'd be a little bit better for Circa. Yeah, definitely. Especially because like Inkling kills uh, Inkling does, does, does the best kill power in the world, whereas Luigi can kill relatively easily, but he has a lot more kill power for sure than Inkling does. also has the benefit of being able to ledge guard really easily, or just offstage play in general. Especially with that upbeat gives you so much range. Mm -hmm. And so allows you to go pretty far off without having to risk very much. And Luigi has a very linear recovery, especially since they got rid of the Cyclone Rise Up. And Green Missile isn't anything too big to be afraid of. Yeah, so it's just Inkling. You can probably just go offstage and be not, not really worried about too much. Yeah, just kind of ledge drop back here and there, but other Pretty good game so far that both of you saw. I'm like, even, what say? I like what Circa did there a second ago. He did a up throw, but then but weighed on the up air, because, like, uh, Luigi has, like, the frame one invincibility on his down beat. That's probably, that's probably what I was expecting that happened. He wanted to punish that, but... Ooh. Kevin didn't give it to him. Had the read on the roller, unfortunately, dropped it just right as he right got up to Kevin. And, I don't know. I don't know why Inklings... So that's the one common mistake that Inklings do. Around this percent, they'll keep going for up throw, which doesn't make too much sense considering that oh. up throw up air isn't a true from at this point. That's a very wacky up here right there. Yeah, he didn't want to get hit by the... Is this good? The, okay. No. <laughs> he got Close. it. Right. He didn't want to get hit by the Zare, so he tried to go up, up, but angled it a little bit too sharp. It wasn't in the server. That circle's going for a lot of uh, rollers as well, too, before he's... I tried to go for the kill there, and like you don't want to spend that too much. I guess an experienced player, especially someone who's experienced against Inkling in particular, it's a very obvious option, and if you just shield that, then you just punish her very easily. And against Luigi specifically, up you out of shield is going to destroy Roller. Oh yeah. You hit your shield once and just up you and you're dead, especially at 4%. You don't even need the parry it either, it's crazy. Yeah, no, just walk up the shield. Alright, so going to punish a regrab, I guess, with down tilt. I think that was a regrab. That was a regrab, yeah. This is a really good deficit. Kevin H has a solid 100% lead. He can kill Circa almost at any percent at this point. Or any point. There's the classic frame, the classic combo breaker that's in there. Luigi Your yeah. combo's my combo. Exactly. All right, so taking the lead has a steel, solid stock advantage. Circa has to watch out for the grab now because Kevin H seems to know how to do the combo. He just messed it up the last time. And Inkling, being one of the lighter characters, will die almost immediately. And can you get right get here? It? Oh, yeah, nope. oh, a little off. Little Wrong headed there. air. I don't think he buffered the jump is the problem there. Looks like it was just a bit too late. Seems like it. So, Circa's now out of that, that death zone. He can play more Ooh. aggressive while having to worry about getting grabbed. But also, yeah, he's going for these rollers. Double a roller. Lot. Why? And at this Not percent, good. it makes doesn't doesn't really get too much out of it, as far as I'm concerned. Because he's a little bit too low for death unless Kevin H doesn't mash very well. <laughs> Because if this percent roller still doesn't ground you long enough for you to get any charge smash attacks off. And it's going to keep Xehanim's like this. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's such a good option. Yeah, well, Circa's also just not doing anything about it. He just keeps just sitting there on the ledge, and so Kevin's going to keep using it. Yeah, that's the one thing I haven't seen Circa really abuse in this matchup. Back air is just a really good move. It's safe on shield, and it's intent completely intangible. Yep, there it is right there. Yep. There it is. Oh, he's waiting for it, but the roller again. Really? I don't you really see really a different option there. I was expecting either up smash or up smash. Because there is a decent amount of lag on Luigi's Cyclone, so you can just kind of wait for him to land and then throw out a smash back and wait for it. And at this percent, he would have died really, very really easily. Oh, uh, 100%. Kevin H still holding out the lead, but Circus slightly bringing it back. He still has to get that stock though, and he seems to have trouble there because he's just kind of throwing arrows, hoping that Kevin H runs into it. But he's just kind of zoning back, waiting to do something like this. I feel like he's running back a lot, but he's not really having a, a plan in mind. Like against Luigi, he wants to just make, try to make him approach because his tough time approach in general because his, his move ground speed and move speed and everything. But right now, Kevin does has no reason to approach whatsoever. He has a solid stock lead. He's almost laughing percent, and you can kill him with almost any of his moves at this point. If he gets a back throw to ledge, it's a. Okay, but so he finally gets the roller. Just get a roller finally. 
Bring takes that stock, can bring it back, but he needs to work really hard to not get hit by any straight smash attacks or maybe like a backer. But he can't do this. Inkling has the potential to rack up so much damage, especially with the ink mechanic being able to multiply damage to 1.5 times. But that Zerg lingers long as I thought it yeah, would no, As long as that plunger is moving, it is an active hitbox. Wow, okay. So it is a relatively annoying thing to do with. And as you can see, Circle has no idea what to do about it. It's the, one of the good Zerg, or I guess Ledger Guards against Inkling in general, because you can't actually two frame Inkling. So the fact that the Zerg lingers and the plunger just kind of sits off stage helps block Inkling from actually grabbing Ledge. You have to have a tough time still in the stock, though. He's trying to go for some. Just some, I guess this is like oh, straight hits. Here just it. straight hits, yeah. With some ram smashes, some ram aerials. Ooh, well, that should be it, though. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, Dash Track could take it, too, but probably we'll just get it at the ledge. Sure. Dash Track would have done it. it. It definitely would. That thing got buffed a lot. That's true. Now, he had a plethora of but he'll still have to up smash. Taking game one, Sergra. I feel like needs to get pressure just a little bit more. He's kind of playing too passive. Mm -hmm. Not really using slap to the, he's or be, even neutral B actually. He's being a bit more offensive in general and don't, don't throw him as many rollers. Yeah, he's throwing rollers at wonky percents where the punish won't really be too much. You get the ink, but he hasn't shown to be to like fall off on it like that efficiently. Because mm -hmm. I know some inklings like to do rollers of back air. And they'll, cause they'll catch people mashing out a little back air and get a 2% here and there and then continue the pressure from there. Especially one thing as, uh, as I haven't seen him do at all, really just throw much main backers in general. Yeah, that move is ridiculously think, safe. Yeah, especially like it, at low percent, you can lean back into a grab and all oh, is close. Oh, that was interesting. Why just, the re grab? I don't know. That's weird. It's, or he's trying to get the, the, the straight hit. He's trying to get the straight Zare hit is what happened, which would lead to the up in that case. But, but also, but same thing. Oh, there's Gooigi, by the way. Oh, huh? yeah. There's Gooigi, by the oh. way. He's got inked. <laughs> Okay. So Circa doing a lot better in this one. Actually, no, this is very similar to the game, how game one started. They're both kind of trading back and forth, even percent. But eventually Circa started yeah, this is going back to like kind of just throwing aerials out, hoping to get, I'm assuming it oh, looks like to get straight hit. Almost no, did. He's good. Inkling has a ridiculous recovery. Every yeah. single time. Oh, and we'll catch the final ledge on the smash. Going right above him that's in that case. Yeah, that, that fair is not safe on approach at all. And this is what I'm talking about. Easy ledge guard. Just go off stage and back air. Go off stage? No. no, that's not the point. <laughs> I mean, he's probably, he might be scared of misfire, but at this percent, he's not in danger to dying at all. He's get hit. You can worst case, you stage tag. If even if you don't stage tag, I'm pretty sure at that percent you'd live. Man, if anything, you just throw a splat on. I guess Luigi off stage. That would work pretty well too. But he did throw a splat on, but he didn't time it. It's a little bit hard to do splat on exactly because of how long they can hold this or Luigi missile. That's true. Um, but still, call him out. We'll take off the, with the ledger fair, even out the stocks. Trying to bring it back in percentage. But Kevin H, not really falling for any of the shenanigans. Oh, try to go for an F switch on that ledge or the grab, grab trade. That was weird. There's big damage right here. Yep. Oh, nice. Cyrus spot back there though. That's unfortunate. It's about 30% though. It's pretty good for a three combo. All right. Okay. Good retreating bear. See, that's the thing. Even if you parry bear, oh. it is not safe what's or it's safe. Completely. Yeah, called out for that one. Yep. That's the one mistake I see a lot of leeches do. They'll just immediately, if they're in like a not true string at all, they'll just immediately cyclone panic. And that's where a lot of people get punished. Speaking of things that people have punished, that roller, once again getting punished, and Circuit being in a bad position because of this, but still bring it back at least. Oh, gets hit by a spot bomb. Okay, this one I'm talking about. And will we make it back? Yep. Yep. Save this double jump, good idea. That's another thing too, get, uh, get with Luigi's recovery, is that sometimes you just throw your body there and it'll, it'll stuff it and you can't really get back in time because of this. Yep. Especially on the second cyclone. He just like intercepts it sometimes, just still gimp him. It's because it doesn't have drift at all, does it be? I really don't like the fact that he's still going for off throw. You should try to get either stage pressure by just throwing, just completely throwing him off the platform or the stage itself. Back throw as well is just really good. Like, otherwise, he's not using that much either. Well, we'll get a straight back air. That move does hit pretty low and. Kevin H poking his head just a little bit above the ledge. Right, okay, right here. Oh, um, no, nope. got the back hit. He's going for the Zare though. I'm, I'm not, I don't like that. You can do it with the up, the up, the up air as well, too. Yeah, you can do up air. You don't have I don't know why he's going for the Zare with the grab. Oh, we'll land right into the Cyclone. Yeah, I don't know why he's going to roll at these percents. It, I mean, 
I guess the ink does help, but I feel like there's like a lot better punishes that you can go for. There definitely are. Especially in neutral, you can also just go for like a splat bomb. No, you don't have to force the advance by going just by like just going for a, a roller or anything. You really just don't get much off at low percent. Oh, actually, Rapid Jab's a better option. That, that's that's a ridiculous percentage. And then it also it goes almost full ink if they don't mash out incorrectly. Because believe it or not, SDI still is a thing in this game. It's not as strong because you only can SDI like one out of every four hits or something mm -hmm. relative to that. Something but like that. it's still an option, and people don't use it enough. You can get out of some rapid jumps or make them end early. For you. Now, see, this is when Circle actually wants to roll because he kind of just threw it out every now and then. Kevin H is more like just on point or aware of like, yeah, this could be coming out at any point in time now. Okay. You know, other than Common Break, I haven't really seen much, like, cycle of Kevin Age at all, really. Like, so far, I haven't. Yeah, it seems like Circo's caught on, so, like, he likes to cycle on us, so he's so kind of playing more spaced around. Again. There we and go. And then he gets uh, Nope, okay. High c Ghost is a very high ceiling, so not the stage. And we'll that come. should do it, though. Oh, nope, nope, good DI that stale. time. And stale. All right. That should be punished. Oh, there yeah, there we go, dude. That was a very ill-advised cycle that yeah. time. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying really like, greedy. getting really greedy with those cycles. See, that was like his third, fourth in a row. He kind of just threw out mm -hmm. there, like, oh, can't be doing that. Like, honestly, he was showing a lot because of the cyclones. Like, just from conditioning, say, you could should, could just like grab them and throw on stage or something. We had, a, he had quite a few options that could have been better. He wasn't really at risk of dying anything else besides maybe a, a smash attack, but that you can just shield it. And back there wouldn't have killed just yet, just purely based off the size of Kalos. Circa, bring the games even one to one. Very happy with that because he gave an okay sign right after. So, <laughs> Kevin H used to watch out for those high pressure situations, not panic cyclone. That cost him the game. That really did. He had a solid lead, but he got punished like three times. He wasn't throwing out much, but when he threw it out, he threw it out way too much. <laughs> He's got to calm it down, man. <laughs> Alright, so taking it to Yoshi's, I really do not like this stage. Although it Same. does benefit Inkling slightly. I don't think it benefits many characters in general, honestly, if being real. I think this stage should be replaced by Yoshi's story, if anything. They're both bad. They both have like the weird slants. This, the slants are way worse than this stage, though. There's yeah, like five surfaces on this stage. There is definitely a weird On, on, on Yoshi's story, it's, it's, just like a, it's just like a small side slants on the edges, and that's it. It's not too bad. <laughs> you, you, you can't do much of the slants on this stage at all. Yeah, no, you can't. And there's really just a can. lot of weird things you can do on this stage. That just does not make sense. I just don't get it, but it's whatever, though. I will say for sure, this stage this, this does a small blast on the entire entire game, and that benefits Luigi because he kills pretty early like that sometimes. Especially with Uppy, which I haven't seen him at all so far yet. I don't know if he feels comfortable doing it or because Circa is just barely spacing outside of upbeat punish range. He hasn't really, Kevin hasn't really shielded anything that can get punished with upbeat at that range. Oh yeah. If anything, you just do it like off the ledge, but it's not really going for it. Here's Gooigi. I got point every time, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised that Cyclone actually caught the F smash. Oh, okay. Why do people do that? <laughs> I don't know. Whenever there's like a smash attack being thrown, it's on shields that their immediate reaction is to throw one right after. I mean, I guess it makes sense because some smash attacks are relatively unsafe. But at the same time, a lot of the ones in this, in, like a lot of character smash attacks also have like a long startup. So I don't know. Trying to punish Kevin H throwing out the Cyclones really, really heavily now. He's gotten punished more than a few times for him at this point. He needs to dial it back just a bit because now Circa has, it's just, See right, see, right there is a situation where you actually would throw a dash, like a, a cyclone, because like that, he was in the middle of a combo, and like it wasn't like, entirely true, so it worked out there. Like he's able to just get out of it before anything, uh, before the bad happened. Uh, would that be, would that be, yeah, there we go. I can't remember if that's a true combo, or if that's just, oh, that, it's a true combo. That could have been a lot better punish. Inkling has a decent amount of line, like on LP. I think it's true for like. Until like around like 100% of this character. Like 105, I want to say. Yikes. There we go. Good that's coverage there. Up smash. That's like, that's his go to tool to punish stuff, it seems like. Yeah, up, he's using a lot of up smash in general to kill. To kill. But to be fair, it's a very, it's very good killing tool in general. Oh, yeah, no, it comes off fast, kills. And landing with Cyclone again. Okay, that was. Uh, that was wacky. He went for the green missile? Yes, uh, Cyclone uh, trade tra with a slap off. Yeah, no, but there. I guess uh, he was probably just mashing. He was hard. mashing. I don't th uh, he was trying to like, drift to the left, so okay, that's well, what happened. Why did he missile there? 
Okay, well, gets punished by Roller, taking the stock with the up smash. Circa bring it back to even. This is... Last stock, game three. <laughs> looking very much like game two. Sir, Kevin H had a decent lead, but just kind of throw out one too many moves and got punished for it. Can't really get too much off of this. Yeah, that platform also has helped save them. Let him shield just a bit early before the back can connect. Circa just using Inkling's movement, which is ridiculously good. It shrinks his hurt box like way to the ground. It's annoyingly hard to hit him. It's crazy. Okay. Getting punished actually for once for doing the bear. Okay. Miss space it gets grabbed. There's a cycle, not gonna kill just yet. Next one might do it. And okay. Oh, that, that down smash was good. Ooh. Parry down smash, take it off the side. I think he's expecting more of like an S smash, like yeah. Oh no, actually no, that's weird. Now the Luigi's down smash sends him like the opposite direction. Sound like it's the other way. I don't know what he was expecting, because that was he shouldn't have died there. That's a strange hitbox. 